Hey, Sean, tell me a little bit about this transformation that you experienced this semester. You were worried about Maryland and getting into graduate school. Because I did my audition so early, so I had extra long time to, to wait for the result. And I didn't expect that. So I try to focus on my work more because when I'm busy, I am distracted by work, then I'm not thinking about the school result anymore. But whenever there's a rest or, you know, when I have a blank in my day, then I start to think, hmm, when will I hear back from the school? So I waited and waited, and I started to feel more and more anxious about this result. At the same time, I feel it's a good thing to go home and stay with my parents. But what I really want is to stay here. Yeah. So I couldn't pray. And they, that, that just makes me more anxious because there's no way for me to let my emotion out. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's terrible. I, so I got the, the letter from the school and um, they put me on wait list uh, and told me to wait until April 15. So I already had a long period of waiting and I had to wait longer to get result after other people turn down their acceptance so I can get it. Yeah, I was quite depressed when I got that letter from the school. Mm -hmm. but I don't know, I just, uh, it's just my, my anxiety <laughs> accumulated. Um, it was one day we, we read that chapter of Watchman Nee's, um, what's the name of the book? It's the normal Christian life. Yes. So we we read that chapter. It's about Philippians chapter three. That Paul says um, he sees everything else as rubbish because he knows God. He knows the surpassing greatness of knowing yes. Christ Jesus, my Lord. Yeah, and that's the most important thing in his life after that moment. Nothing else matters anymore. So it, 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 it didn't stick like, in my brain on that day. But anyway, it was one day and I thought, yeah, Paul says that. And I am so anxious right now because of that school result. So as I know, knowing God is, is the most important thing in my life and nothing else matters because I, I gave him my life and um, why am I still so anxious now? So am I not satisfied by knowing God? And then I realized, okay, it doesn't matter anymore because... Acceptance doesn't matter? Yeah, acceptance doesn't matter or what's next doesn't matter. Because as long as I'm in God's hands, I'm fine. I'm safe. I got peace. And I feel fine. And that happened before I I, I got the, the acceptance. So... So first, first you, yes. you change, your attitudes change. Everybody can see a difference. Mm -hmm. God used the difficult situation yeah. and brought a transformation from depression to joy. And then, what happened? And then, the teacher texted me. She said, there's a possibility that we can move you off the wait list. Are you still interested? And of course I'm still interested. Right? I want to stay here. I want to move on, study more, and get more chances to work with other musicians. That's what I love. So, I said, of course I'm still interested. So. They moved me off the wait list, sent me the acceptance later, and we are working on my I-20 now, so, yeah. I'm happy about the result, but I, I'm happy, no matter what, because I know 